Alright, it's Mr. Sanders, yeah, and you know how we yeah. Alright, you guys probably heard the quote by now. I'm gonna read it. Only women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. A man is only loved under the condition that he provides something. Um, so that quote is like that quote is pretty deep. So let's say you're a male content creator. You're making content. It takes a while for things to get going sometimes. And I don't know if this statement is 100 percent true or not, but you definitely feel it sometimes. Like I've definitely been in a position where I'm like, I'm talking to a, I'm out in public and I'm maybe I'm talking to a female or something. And we're having a nice conversation. She seems like she likes me. And then it's like that question comes up. So like, what do you do? And then I start fumbling and like falling over my words and stuff because it's like I make uh I I I make beats uh I I write uh YouTube uh you don't really have a clear answer you can like see the shift in their in their whole their, their whole demeanor just changes you just like become that almost that like idiot that has like these stupid unrealistic dreams and she doesn't have time for that and. Usually the, the conversation takes a pretty drastic shift after that. Um, and I think that used to make me angry. That used to like, you're supposed to love me for me. So what if I'm struggling now? Think about the future. I'm working, I'm hustling, I'm trying. Can't you? Uh. Oh, and then the, the, the best part about those conversations is like, when you say those things like, oh, I do content, YouTube, they're gonna ask you, so they're gonna, like, how many views did you get on your last video? Or how much money do you make from that? And then if that answer is not adequate, you're fucked. You're probably fucked, all right? I'm sorry. Unless you got mad game and you could just look her dead in the eyes and say, I forgot where I read this story. I went looking through it for it through. I went looking for it through my books, whatever. But this guy, he was like a fiction writer trying to become a fiction writer. That's how it works normally. Um, but he had a girlfriend and while he was writing, they were kind of struggling. She left him and told him, basically told him that if if this works, if you make it as a fiction writer, I'll come back. But I can't sit around and like wait for you to chase your dreams. So she left him. And then like years later, he did become a bestseller. And then she showed back up. And I think the idea is like, well, you're supposed to stick it out with me and like be my ride or die through thick and thin. But you can't like, nobody sees your vision. Nobody sees what you see. Nobody knows the future. And you can't really blame people for wanting to live like a, a easy life like they want to eat food and like think if you have kids they want to be able to feed the kids and you're over here chasing this dream like oh i want to do comedy i mean i used to think like you're just supposed to love me for me the world i'm not gonna say the world doesn't work like that i'm just gonna say that you're gonna have to prepare yourself sometimes some of you might make it pretty fast but some of you is gonna take a long long time and you might have to compare prepare yourself for a long emotional drought. And I wish somebody told me this a long time ago that you can try to finagle your way around this and whatnot, like this whole situation, this whole Chris Rock quote that you're only love conditionally as you can provide and you can be like, you can try to, I don't know, master game and get good at it and try to finagle your way or, or just, sit down and accept the reality of that and not waste your time trying to do trying to go out and stay up late at the clubs trying to um go get a girlfriend or something when you shouldn't even be out late you should be like asleep so you can wake up early and then work on your craft type thing because i i mean i felt like i went too many nights out trying to look for like some kind of affection or love that i really wasn't just gonna that it was I feel like I was just wasting my time out there looking back. And I wish I would have just accepted the fact, sat my ass down, and continued working on my craft. Well, you're fucking lonely for a minute. And that's just what it is. And you can't be mad about it, mad about it. And you just have to accept the fact that this is how the world turns. And I don't think this should be looked at as like a negative thing. Like it, I realize it's almost a beautiful thing. I feel like the beauty in this whole thing is like sometimes what comes easy, we don't value that much. And so 
I think you hear it a lot in interviews. There are these moments in life where you're like striving towards something and it's hard. You have these obstacles, challenges. You could not do something before. You worked at it long and hard. And then after that, you could do it. It's so basic. Before I could not do this thing. I worked for years. Now I could can do this thing. Either some skill, some business, whatever. And that feeling of looking back with like a sense of pride that I did that, I think is better to all the easy love and attention that you may have been thinking that you wanted early on. It's almost it's a it's a love that comes from within and it's like a self pride that comes from within and I think the beauty of that quote is it forces men to find like to go within and find those things where it could almost be detrimental as a woman that yeah I could work hard at stuff but if I just show more cleavage then I'll just blow up um that's almost like a distracting factor so for me like when I couldn't write a fucking sentence that made sense and then I wrote a whole book that made somewhat sense probably still wasn't that great it was like a really good feeling that I took the time and I did that and it was hard and it was frustrating and I think that beats any quick viral video though that feeling beats any quick viral video any fast view count any quick get rich dump of money and a lot of men are forced to go through those trial and tribulations and come out on the other end now if it wrecks you and you feel like jumping off a bridge or something, that's not good. Don't do that. And I know it gets hard. If you do make it out on the other end, it does feel good that, hey, I accomplished that. I learned how to do that. I dedicated myself to something. So like create those moments for yourself, save those moments, and like hold on to those moments. I think David Goggins calls it his little cookie jar. Cause like he goes back in his cookie jar and reminds himself of the things that he's able to do. And that feels good, like cookies taste good. So I guess to round this video off, on a content creation journey where maybe things are a little bit slower for you or you're not getting the traction that you want and then people look at you like you're that idiot with stupid dreams that are never gonna work out and this leaves you lonely and upset. And the Chris Rock croak may like strike a nerve and be like god this is so messed up why is why is life like this but i think really it can almost be seen as a beautiful thing as long as it doesn't break you and just prepare yourself for the drought